Oh, hi, hookers. Uh, okay, so today what we're going to be covering is we're going to be covering uses of the flop wrist press. Before we start, just want to say that arm wrestling is all about uh, you know fundamentals, you know positioning, you know extension, hand control. Right? It's all about how much you can you can pull up, cup, and not get turned. That's that's really the big basics of arm wrestling. Okay. This video we're going to go into some things that are outside of that, to what to do when you don't necessarily have that. So we're going to talk about three applications for flop wrist arm wrestling, which are awesome. Okay, We're going to talk about hard counter flop wrist press uh, against the guy who's soft countering with uh, no rotation. We're going to talk about, uh, that's the kickback, Johnny's going to do that one. We're going to do flop wrist post against a premature roller. We're going to do a flop wrist press, defensive and offensive, soft counters. Okay, for argument's sake here, we're going to say that uh, I've got more hand control than Devin, my rotator, uh, and my cup is stronger than him. His hook is stronger than mine, so he's essentially like a more a stronger puller. I'm going to try and avoid my hook, or excuse me, avoid the hook at all costs. And he's going to try and establish his hook at all costs. And lots of times uh, when pullers are doing that, if, if he knows that I can top roll him and he needs to secure his hook, lots of times he'll do a soft counter. He'll ditch his own rotation and stack all of his components into the cupping components. So he's going to try and give everything up and just put all ten into his cup. Me. Instead of to counter his soft counter, I'm going to hard counter him by actually kicking my wrist in a negative uh, position. So when he comes in, he's ditching his rotation, which allows me to do a hard counter and a kickback. There's no reason for me to continue with my cup if he's diving in on me and giving up his rotation. Because these are, these are stacked together. His cup, my cup goes along with his rotation. So if he's giving that up, there's no sense in me fighting there. I'm actually going to counter that by going the opposite way, a hard counter. So I'm keeping his wrist flat, not allowing him to access his hook, and really that's all that he wants. He really doesn't have any place to go anymore because he's given up his rotation, he no longer has a cup, this match is mine. Uh, in the setup, you can choose to uh, do what some would call maybe a low hand type of top roll. So <clears throat> instead of traditionally setting up like so, I'm going to Instead of worrying about height in here, I'm going to worry about the height in my wrist. So if you look at Devin's hand, this is where he's wrapping me from. If I step my wrist up, I'm not allowing him anymore to gain access to this right here where he can come around and attack me. I'm taking that away from him. So I'm gaining height in my wrist. I'm not allowing him to wrap me any further around. And I'm still going to kick him back as he ditches his rotation and comes in with his attempt at a cup and attempt to hook me. Right, so hard counter. So we'll play it a different way. Again, uh, same scenario. This time Johnny has stronger hand. He's got more wrist. He's got more rotation than me. Okay, so if we were both pulling outside and nothing changed, it looked like this. Don't move, ready, go. And Johnny's got his smash, okay? So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try to hope that he's going to prematurely try and pin me. Okay, and what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to soft counter, soft counter, I'm going to give something up. What I'm going to choose to give up is I'm going to choose to give up my wrist. I'm going to hope that he's going to overextend in rotation. I'm going to hope that he's going to feel like he's got something and he's going to carry it on. But I've already given that up. I'm changing the game, right? So I'm going to hope he's going to continue to extend when, while I'm giving up ground there, I'm trying to snake in back in the rise, okay? I'm going to try and reprioritize rise so that I get my hole, okay? I'm going to try and stick with creative building potential in the match, okay? So again, so I'm up high, I've got something in my cup, I've got something in my roll, okay? He does too, okay? He's real balanced, same as me, okay? And when we hit, I'm hitting all post and I'm giving up a little bit of cup, so hopefully He's going to spin out my hand a bit, and that's going to allow me the opportunity just to walk over first. I'm going to be the first guy to move my hand. And once I have that bite, I should, at that point, have more hand control, and I should be able to bend him. Okay? At this point, he's either going to slip out, it's going to go straps, 
we can do the same thing or uh, in the straps or uh, I should be able to edge my way back into the match. This move uh, taken a step worse is something like this, okay? So I'm, uh, I still, I'm outmatched in the hand, uh, but at the same time, uh, even with my flop, he still has enough to, uh, to, to take me down, okay? He's still got enough wrist to take me down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in with a defensive, defensive press in the flop position. So I hit up high, I do my step over and I get a defensive press in, okay? And at this point, hopefully, uh, as he comes back up, I switch up to a, to a flop post again and then eventually, hopefully, all the way back in into hand control. Uh, if you know that you have no chance to stay out of the press, another opportunity you can do is to offensively hit your flop wrist press, okay? Um, when setting up for uh, your, your offensive press, flop, you're gonna look at a few things. First, you're gonna wanna get on his arm, so you're always gonna have, wanna have more body commitment. So what you're looking at is the shoulder, the hands, and, the, and your shoulder. These three spots, okay? And I always want to be the one with the angle, when you look at the shoulder, the hand, I want to be the one cutting into my opponent's arm, okay? Right now, if you draw a line with him, it's coming into my body. I always want to be cutting into my opponent's arm. This is a priority for me when I'm doing inside arm wrestling. When I set up with my hand, I want to set up so I can push him, okay? I want to be able to push him forward, all right? Because I'm, I'm hoping that this guy is going to run for me. I'm hoping he's going to come outside, okay? That's the part that I'm giving up to try and get onto his bicep right away with my body. So I'm almost coming underneath him so I can push. This is part of my setup, right? Cutting into him and I'm pushing him up, okay? Now, what I'm gonna very quickly give up on the ready go is I'm gonna very quickly give up my cup angle so that I can get on the match very quickly, okay? This is against a guy who's top rolling, okay? So again, don't move, ready, go, and I've isolated his bicep and I have body commitment. So that's three flop wrist styles of arm wrestling that are very good and effective. Well, just like that on that one, that's a very good bait, uh, setting in very low like that, coming in very low. Oftentimes if you're facing something like that, your natural move is to go over top of that. And that's exactly what your opponent wants you to do. Uh, another thing I'd like to say about uh, techniques and, and different variables in arm wrestling. Sure, cupping is, is, a, is your leading edge in almost every one of your moves, but also this can be a move as well. You don't have to worry about traditional uh, arm wrestling. What matters is winning the match any way that you know how. If the technique works, go ahead and use it. Don't be afraid to use the technique if it's not cool or people don't think it's uh, traditional. Go ahead and use the techniques that work for you. Try all these techniques out. Just win matches. That's all you got to do. It comes down to winning matches and technique isn't always being able to smash your opponent to the pad. Sometimes technique can be taking on a bigger, stronger opponent and actually winning the match any way possible. So just go ahead, try all these moves out, and just get it done. Win some matches. I hookers.